And everybody, welcome back to the channel, and well, what can I say, I've got some very good news. We've got a brand new flight simulator released on Steam right here. It's called Flight 737 Maximum, <laughs> yes. <laughs> good name right there. You know, after X-Plane 11 and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, it's now finally time to step up the game. We need better simulation. This is gonna go very well. Now, this game right here costs four euros here on Steam, and indeed, it was released today, right now, on the 26th. 2nd of March. Yeah, it's about this game right here. Flight 737 Maximum. Most realistic, easy of use simulation on B737 only. Alright, um, you know what? We'll talk about the English later on. I mean, Jesus Christ. Good. We, we do have already one review. It's, it's, I don't know what language that is, but it says Pessimo, which can't be good, right? Nah, anyway, it's finally time now to make our own impression. Let's just play Flight 737. Is it gonna be a game changer? Let's check this out. Alright! Flight 737 Maximum. Now, apparently, this is a Turkish flight simulator. Yeah. So, uh, if you're watching from Turkey, which actually quite a lot of people do, please don't think that I mean to offend your country. I only... Right? I mean, why I want to fly at maximum 2,000 meters. I want to short distance flight. Oh, I, I want to do as well that. Air traffic and naval. But good. This is gonna be very much fun. All right, now let's go ahead and start right here by pressing flight. Now let's just go ahead and join into a free flight, especially. Right? Is that what we care about, first of all? And oh my god, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to judge this, but this is the absolutely worst design I've ever seen in my entire life. All right. Now, we can we can actually enter an airline name here. Can, can we do that? Help. Yeah, we can actually enter it here right here. It's called Swiss 001 Airline, something like that. Pilot name Niklaus. There we go. Uh, I'm the captain now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's check out the weather that we can select right here. Oh, we have sun, and then and, and we have uh, rain, rainy, and we have snowy. Yeah, okay. That's not bad on the English. We can select the time. My God, this is seriously <laughs> absolutely ugly. What is that down here? <laughs> okay. Now, we can, you know, so <laughs> select, select some failures here as well, I guess. Smoothly flight. <laughs> good. Flaps failure. Okay, you know what? This actually seems good. Cargo flight. Fire. All right, that is some that is some very exotic. Well, let me go for smoothly fight first. Let's go ahead and ask some passenger. I mean, we can't do that here. Okay. Uh, well, all right, anyway, what we can do right here is also select a flight region. Now, there you can actually fly someone worldwide if we don't account for the whole of South America. I'm sorry about you, but you have to go, you guys. What can I say? We can go to uh, <laughs> Asia and Pacific. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. All right. all right, let me go to Leonardo da Vinci Airport. Except error takeoff and destination cannot seem. What a shame. All right, what, what airport can we select here anyway? Oh, there's <laughs> this is literally all that is to it. No scrolling allowed. All right, let me go to Munich International Airport. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Let's just accept it. Accept my fate. <laughs> Amazing. Now, oh my. Oh my God. It's just absolutely ugly. All right. Um. Yeah. This is this is this is good. All righty. Oh, okay, this is supposed to be Italian. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now. Yeah. Welcome, everybody, to the cockpit of the 737. Oh, oh my god. Look at that gaming headset this guy's using. All right, yeah. Good. He's working through the checklist, and whenever we zoom in, he, he just disappears. Great to see. Let's maybe try to see. Can we go, go to outside view? Uh, all right, general. Oh, yeah. All right, this is what this looks like here. Now, this is <laughs> on board a 737 Max. I mean, I do have to say, with the current situation going on, and which has been going on for years now, marketing-wise, it's not the best idea to name anything 737 right now. I mean, I'll just say that. Anyway, let me go back into the cockpit view. Like, maybe start at this airplane. I mean, after all, I can fly 737 somewhat. So, how? How does that work now? All right, first of all, you would always start with a battery. Now, in order to actually interact with this cockpit here, we have to go into the button mode. Here we go. And now we can start with this airplane, I guess. Um, interact with it. And man, this is a little bit annoying. Why can't I just press it? I'm, 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 I'm literally using a mouse right now. Anyway, let's go button mode right here. Battery. Okay, you always start with a battery. That's great to see. Turn on the standby power as well. Looking good. We should already see some of the screen. Yeah. Uh-oh. My god, look at that primary flight display. That is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> why is it round? Jesus <laughs> Christ. And why? What, what is it? Okay, anyway. The next step, of course, for every airliner would be, well, the APU. Let's just go and start it. That won't start. That I, I cannot interact with that. Great, thank you very much. 
All right, in the background, we have this Italian woman speaking all the time. Shut up! Yeah. She sounds so- what the f*** is wrong with here? All right, let's come on. Give some more- let's give it some more feel. Maybe that will start up the APU. Why won't the APU turn on? Or do we not have any APU just simulated? Can we just turn on the- shut up! Look like gaming hits there right here. You know what? I think we can already go ahead and start up the engine, I guess. What do we have right here? Mashallah, flight 737 maximum. Bam. Right. All right. I mean, there are probably ways to turn on this airplane, but not in a realistic way anyway. Let's go ahead and respawn into this plane with a plane that's ready for flying. All right. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, right now, this is now Dubai Airport. And <laughs> uh, yeah, this is not what Dubai <laughs> Dubai looks like. All right. Uh, wait, why is the plane still not turned on? This is not making much sense. Maybe we can enter a flight listen right here. Maybe just, uh, you know, come in for a landing right here. Landing operations. Oh, never mind. It's just a YouTube video. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, I thought this was going to be good now. So we go to New York now. This is just absolutely hopeless. Now, welcome everybody to New York. This is what it looks like. Except, oh man, look at look at that posture right there. Checklist. Oh my god, it's miserable. Visual cockpit control. What's that even of a free flight? Engine start. All right, now calm the battery on. Come on, stupid thing. Just turn the hell on. Uh huh. So I found out you need to actually strictly follow the checklist in order for the switches to become, uh, you know, interactive. After all, <laughs> shut up! Turn on the APU bleeds right there. This is just absolutely miserable flight simulator. Just go. Can we just shut up now? <laughs> oh god. This is just absolutely unusable of a plane. I don't even. I don't, how do we do fly? How do we fly this right now? I mean, other than that, let me check out some. Uh, help! All right. Oh, yeah, we can hear some sound. Good, the beautiful 737 MAX engines are starting up. How realistic the startup procedure is. By the way, we're in a 737 MAX, but this is literally an 800 cockpit, which is absolutely trash, by the way. Anyway, now it's time to turn on this right here. Turn on those engines nicely. I mean, Jesus Christ. All right, now how do we move here with this airplane? Can we already go full power, please? Just maybe try it out. The thing is, I cannot actually even use my, you know, my, my joystick. It won't support it. How do we control? I mean, seriously, now how do we control this? With key? Yeah. Keys. This is what exactly we want in life. So maybe then I go full power right here. Good. Right, very well developed right here. We cannot actually engage any flight controls. Actually, in fact, come on, can we get rid of the packing brake? This is, <laughs> well, okay, good. Now, 737 Max taking off right here. And look at that realistic runway pavement right here. Runway 02RW, great. Okay, now this is again New York. And don't we love New York? <laughs> <laughs> John, F can literally see John F. Kennedy International Airport right here. Okay, we're moving. Somewhat. We take off, please. Yes. Yes. Oh. No way. No way. This is the physics. No way. I just paid money for this. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We're on fire. We're on fire. Maybe this is after all. Sayın seyirciler, az önce haber merkezimize ulaşan bir habere göre seyir halindeki bir yolcu uçağı bilinmeyen bir nedenden dolayı maalesef düşmüş. <gülüyor> I'm, I'm literally dying inside. What the hell is that right here? I'm dying. That was the best thing ever. Great. I like this. This is actually what I like. You know what? I'm, I'm really not hating on this. This is perfect. An airplane in the air exploded. We were literally on the ground when we exploded. Fake news. All right. This, ah, this is great. amazing. What, what, did, what did he just say? I haven't understand a word. Sorry. I'm, I mean, I do have to say. Captain, you forgot to set the flaps. All right, now we all just love it when we can control literally our plane on the ground with yoke. And what have we done now? Is do we have some tires blown? This is not making any sense at all. This thing. All right, good. Okay, there we go. Looking good. Put the landing gear up. Yes, that's what I'm exactly talking about. Look at that realism, right? I hate this flight simulator. Okay, now let me go ahead and put the landing gear up now. Yes, look at that. Look, and we're even above the water now. Look at that. It doesn't look good. I cannot even crash this airplane. This flight simulator is so bad. We cannot even deliberately crash these airplanes. Come on. Get down into the water. Like, I'm literally... <laughs> this is not how it works. Come on, just kill yourself. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Realism, everybody. This is exactly what I'm talking... Oh, we've got a huge ship. A huge one. I mean, it's not like the 737 is small. I mean, geez. Look at that size comparison. Look at that realism as well. Can we stall out, please? Into the ocean? Yes, that's the point. Die now! Ha! How are we not dying? We're gaining altitude! Die now! Yes! Can we, uh, can we crash, please? Just check, check this out right here, you know. Yes! We have crashed. 
seyirciler. Az önce haber... So yes everybody, what can we say about Flight 737 Maximum? You know, there is potential for improvements, to put it that way. Not too good. Yeah, great. I mean, they, they put a lot of effort into this game, and it's definitely super hard to make something like that, I guess. But now there's, of course, a lot of more features to check out for this flight simulator. But you know, let's not let's not do that here. I still want to be able to sleep tonight. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. <laughs> good night. <laughs> now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mike, Jacob, Tanner, Mubarak, Darren K, Oman the Human, Robbie, Tim, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Calvin, Kelly Chaos, Ryland, Moritz, Jack. Jackie Boy, New the York, Shadow, Noah, and Death Rider.